During af and after the war, our country seemed to have lost its bearings which, with regard to honoring the courage, sacrifice, and devotion to duty and country of those who render military service. Often met with hostility or indifference, it was hard for many veterans to find their place in society again. An op-ed in 1978 summed up this effect to quote, there was probably as much heroism by American servicemen in Vietnam as in any previous war. Yet the Vietnam veteran doesn't know whether he is a hero, an honorable man for serving his country, or a fool for not evading the draft, end quote. But the memorial changed that. At the ceremony for its 25th anniversary in 2007, General Colin Powell, who is presently quoted today, explained, quote, the wall came at a time when we desperately needed something to heal a nation that had been deeply wounded by Vietnam and other traumatic events of the 1960s and 1970s. He added that it occupies a, quote, wonderful, remarkable place in America's collective heart, end quote. The memorial's impact is best shown by how visitors comport themselves here. It's a sacred place of remembrance and homage with an atmosphere of reverence. People make pilgrimage and perform acts of commemoration, interacting with the memorial by touching the names and making rubbings of them, and by leaving meaningful items. There are, these are things that people do at sacred places. Most of us have seen the or annual Memorial Day motorcycle run to the wall with tens of thousands of bikes. While we can't say this is quiet and reverential, what is it other than a pilgrimage? And perhaps the wall's most positive impact have been veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. A VA expert on PTSD often brought veterans to the wall for therapeutic purposes. And then the individuality We've had a flyover. Then the individuality of each person named is emphasized by the name's location in the chronological order of its state of casualty, which location can avert personal and specific memories of, of specific memories of time and place, especially among veterans who may have served with that man or woman. And a unique phenomenon is a stream of tokens of love, remembrance, and life that have been left since the dedication. The majority have been small personal items, such as letters, photos, and even teddy bears. But there was also a Harley motorcycle custom built by Wisconsin veterans. And the unheralded stewards of the memorial's living legacy, along with the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, are the volunteer guides identified by their yellow caps and who, who are on station in all kinds of weather to explain the memorial and assist visitors in finding names. Some have served for decades. The Wallace impact has reached far beyond Washington. Beginning in 1984, replicas of the memorial, now numbering at least five, have toured the country and displayed in thousands of cities and towns. Moreover, permanent replicas have been built around the country. The wall has not only reached far beyond Washington, but far beyond the Vietnam generation. Despite concern about the conflicts in the Middle East, our society has demonstrated universal respect for those who serve there. To our credit, our country has learned to separate the war from the warrior, excuse me, the warrior from the war, and I have no doubt that this cultural shift has been substantially wrought by the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. It has been a powerful teacher to our nation that it owes a debt of gratitude to those who serve in harm's way, and especially those who make the ultimate sacrifice. As General Powell said in 2007, quote, there is magic in this wall that has stood for 25 years, end quote. And I submit that the magic remains today. Again, I thank you all for coming.
Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund. Vietnam Women's Memorial. American Gold Star Mothers Incorporated. Gold Star Wives of America. Sons and Daughters in Touch. First Cavalry Division. 